Hi, Mitch Bailey here for Baileys and Air Heroes. This video and the short videos that come after it are intended to educate you on something we all take for granted, air conditioning and heating. Here at Baileys and Air Heroes, we only set equipment that has all aluminum indoor coils, which is also called the evaporator coil or EVAP for short. The EVAP coil enables cooling of your home by removing heat from the indoor air that passes through the coil. What is the reason we only use equipment that is made with all aluminum coils? Formicary corrosion. Formicary corrosion eats holes in copper tubing where the aluminum fins make contact, creating refrigerant leaks. Coils that are all aluminum are not subject to formicary corrosion. In fact, all aluminum coils are resistant to many other types of corrosion like rust. Okay, you might ask why manufacturers use and or continue to use copper aluminum coils? The answer is efficiency and cost. They get better heat transfer and higher efficiency out of copper aluminum coils. This helps them get uh, efficiencies, get higher efficiencies that save energy and makes a great selling point. In addition, the manufacturer has thinned the wall of the copper tubing, again, to obtain higher efficiencies and better heat transfer. However, by thinning the copper tubing, this has accelerated leaks caused by formicary corrosion. Older coils with thicker wall tubing would eventually develop these same leaks, but over a greater time span of decades instead of months and years. Moreover, these older systems, the equipment are usually replaced before the leaks could appear. Again, time was in their favor because the copper was thicker. On the other hand, cost is also a factor. It is more expensive to manufacture all aluminum coils. In addition, the cost to retool their factories to build an all aluminum coil is significant. So let me give you a short history on formicary corrosion. Formicary corrosion first started showing up in great numbers in the late 90s after the introduction of R410A. Back then, Carrier Corporation began using their branded 410A refrigerant, Puron, in their equipment along with the new thinner copper tubing coils for higher efficiency. However, after a few years, Carry began replacing an unusual number of app coils due to the leaks in these coils. In an attempt to find the cause of the leaks, Carrier did a study testing the failed and replaced coils before and after replacement. Their testing found formaldehyde, formic acid, chlorides along with acetates in the condensate water and on the replaced and the new coil a few months after they installed it. They attributed the corrosion to these volcanic or organic compounds, commonly known as VOCs, Furthermore, because these chemicals are not used in the manufacturing of the coils, Carrier theorized that the only source could be from the air in the home. Sorry to say, this gave them an out. In other words, it gave the manufacturer someone or something else to blame for these leaks, the air in the home. There is a link to the Carrier study in the description below. Okay, So our experience with leaking coils here at Bailey's uh, began back in 2008. Prior to this, we were oblivious to the problems of formicary corrosion because we never had an issue with these coils developing leaks. However, only a few years after installing systems utilizing R410A and the thinner wall coils, we began to see those same EVAP coils leaking, uh, developing leaks. In fact, in one year in 2010, we replaced over 50 coils, which is over three times the number of replaced coils from the prior three decades. I have linked in the description below a playlist we made of leaking coils placed in a dunk tank. Moreover, the majority of these coils were from the Lennox Premium line. At the time, we believed Lennox had a manufacturing problem. We wanted answers, and so we had the factory rep for Lennox come out and go through seven homes that had leaking coils. In every case, he pointed to the carrier study as the source of all those leaks. The worst part of this, Lennox would not give the customer or our company any breaks or compensation for our labor, lost refrigerant, or materials when replacing these coils. Even worse, many of these coils were out of warranty and we had to charge the customer for replacing them. Because of this, the confidence with our customers was eroding, with many of the, them being angry at us for selling them this brand. This begged the question, if the manufacturer knew about this problem ahead of time, why did not they not let us know and why don't they come up with a solution? In addition, why keep, keep building and selling copper aluminum coils that will develop leaks prematurely? And uh, I really wasn't really happy about this and so I published a bulletin and a letter to our customers. 
Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I also became very vocal on the internet about this problem. So much so that Linux actually threatened to sue our company. A link to what I published is in the description below so you can read it. After researching the problem, we switched brands in 2010 to Train, which was one of only two manufacturers at the time that utilized all aluminum coils in their equipment. In addition, in 2014, I was retained as an industry expert by the law firms that filed a class action lawsuit against Linux and the problems with those leaking coils. The lawsuit was settled in 2015. Since switching from copper aluminum coils to all aluminum coils over the last decade, we have only experienced a few leaks. However, these leaks were from bad factory welds and not from corrosion. Even though they were repairable, Train chose to give us a new coil to replace the old ones. This brings me to the manufacturers and brands. Over the last four decades, we have been a dealer of several other brands, Lennox, Rood, Ream, Goodman, and Amana, just to name a few. However, our relationship with Train has been, without a doubt, one of the best experiences for our company and our customers. I have also linked, uh, I also included a link below to an educational paper written by ACA Air Conditioning Contractors of America on former carry corrosion. In paragraph two, they state, former carry corrosion only occurs in copper-based alloys. Okay, to sum up, when replacing your system, you should use all aluminum coils and do not uh, use copper aluminum. I do have to add a but. I find copper aluminum coils acceptable only, and I repeat only, if they have been tin coated. A tin coated coil is resistant to former carry corrosion. Note the word resistant. If the tin coating is compromised, they also can develop leaks. The only sure way to prevent former carry corrosion is an all aluminum coil. Thanks for watching.